Yes, this is exactly what you think. Small jar full of snails. They were on the plants, on the glass, on the substrate, pretty much everywhere. And believe it or not, but I did it on purpose. So I got few snails on the plants. Then I had an idea, how about I change few snails into the full snail invasion. This way I could show you how I fight off the snail plague and maybe help some of you if you have a snail problem in your tank. Was I successful? What are my tricks? Let's find out. As always, let's start from the basics. Obviously, not all snails are bad. Even in this tank, I have snails that I want to keep. Cleton Corona snails are great. They look good, they fight off the algae. There is nothing wrong with them. But sometimes you might get a type of snails that are not that good looking and they become a problem because they are very, very fast breeders. Those kinds of snails are very often hitchhikers on the plants that you buy. So if you have uninvited snails in your tank, 90% chance they are coming with the plants. This is why it's super important to rinse and clean the plants you get. But there is never 100% certainty that you're gonna get rid of all of them. The only way to avoid this is to use in vitro plants because they are grown in sterile conditions and there is no chance that the snails are coming with them. But anyway, I got few potted plants for this build and this is exactly how I got my few snails. So as soon as I noticed that they are inside my tank, my first thought was to remove them immediately. This is how I could avoid the full invasion. But then I decided to make a small experiment for you. So what I did is exactly what you never should do. I overfed my tank. Because this is exactly how you change few uninvited guests into the full invasion of your tank. So I started overfeeding a little bit, but still the amount of food that I put inside was too much. The snails had good source of food, so they did what they do best. They started to breed. And few weeks later, here we are. The numbers exploded and now I have a problem. When I saw how many of them are there in the tank, then I started to wonder if this was a good idea. But hey, it's, it's too late now. Okay, before we move to the next stage, let's talk about other possibilities to have this invasion. So you already know. First of all, don't overfeed your tank. Second, try to keep algae at bay. Algae is also excellent food source for pest snails and it works exactly the same like with overfeeding. If they have an excellent food source, they are gonna breed and they are gonna breed fast. And finally, it's very often a problem of maintenance. So if you're trimming your plants regularly, which you should do, always remember to clean the trimmings as much as possible. Rotting plant mass is also something that those snails will eat. So to put it in other words, it's almost always our fault. Okay, enough the blame game, now let's try to fix it. I would like to remove two options from the equation right at the beginning. First of all, yes, there are some chemicals that you can use to fight off the snails. But I don't want to do this and sometimes you even can't do this. And there is no chemical solution that would kill one of the snails and leave the other. It doesn't work like that. So if you have Cleton Coronas, Helmet snails or any other type that you want to keep safe, chemistry is out of the question. Next, yes, there are animals that eat the snails. The obvious choice would be some types of loaches, for example, or even other killer snails. But here we have the same problem. They will kill all the snails in your tank, even those that you want to keep. And second, sometimes you don't want to have other fish in your tank. The tank that we have here is only 30 liters. It's only for the small platys and nothing else. So you cannot buy those kind of fish just to kill off the snails because they will feel very uncomfortable and they are simply too big for this kind of tank. Okay, so let's talk about things that we can do. First of all, you can always 
manually remove snails from your tank. Yes, I know it's boring, it's tedious, but sometimes it's simply necessary. And as I'm showing right now, it's quite efficient actually. With a set of tweezers, I was able to remove almost 30 snails from my tank in like 5 minutes. Obviously, there is absolutely no chance you're gonna remove every single snail like that. But what we are doing right now is restoring the balance. And snails actually sometimes make it easier for us, because from time to time they are trying to reach the surface and it's actually very easy to pick them off. Next, always look for them on the floating plants, especially those kinds with long roots. Sometimes snails will attach to those floating plants and then will not be able to get off. And you can obviously pick those floating plants one by one and clean them from the snails. This way I was also able to remove 10 or 15 in few minutes. Next, you should take advantage of trimming sessions. So, smaller snails will hide in the plants like this one, Rotala Atra. There is no point of looking for them. Just trim the plant, because you have to do it anyway, but don't replant the endings. Just throw them out. With the trimming session I'm showing you right now, I found around 30 snails in between the small leaves. Besides, inside those plants, very often snails will lay eggs. Here you can see the example. So if you see a cluster of eggs like this one, immediately cut off the leaf and throw it away. And finally, we can always do very simple traps. So here I'm putting a piece of lettuce into the tank. Lettuce is something that snails absolutely love to eat and we're gonna take advantage of that. Just put a small piece inside the tank and wait for one hour. As you can see, after some time, a lot of snails is attached to it. So now what you have to do is just simply remove the leaf and get rid of the snails. And then you can repeat the entire process. You can use the same leaf, just put it back again and wait for other snails to attach to it. Very important notion here. We are not trying to feed them. We are trying to trap them. So don't leave it overnight. But as soon as you get few snails trapped, just remove it quickly. Otherwise, you're gonna make the problem worse because you are just basically feeding those snails and allowing them to live with their bellies full. And also you can use different types of vegetables. So as you can see right now, I'm using cucumber. It has a lot of benefits because if you have autos in your tank, they're gonna feed them as well, but this is a good thing. But also snails, they're gonna sense that it's inside the tank and they're gonna attach to it. Wait one hour, remove, count how many snails you're gonna trap this way and repeat the process. And remember, I'm doing this after the trimming and after manual removal. So I already removed around 50 snails and still they are getting trapped by those vegetables. So I did few sessions with cucumber and few sessions with lettuce. And when I was counting the results, I got over 100 snails trapped. And I did all of this in one day. So as you can see, it's quite effective. You can lower the numbers of snails really significantly doing very little job. So to summarize, if you have few snails, it's not the end of the world. It can happen to anyone. But if you are not careful, if you're overfeeding, if you're lacking in maintenance, or if you have an algae problem, those few snails can change into the snail invasion. But there is always a way to fight it off. You can always hand pick few snails, you can take advantage of trimming sessions, and you can use vegetables as traps. Just be consistent, don't make any mistakes, and it's going to work. The end results for my tank is coming down from full invasion into only few occasional snails here and there. Because I used those methods that I showed you and obviously stopped overfeeding my tank. If you heard about more solutions for this problem, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And as always, see you in the next one.